Puerto Rican dude, 1982, here with a brand new video for mine, and I just want to thank Chris Chris Rushnipple for giving me good suggestions on my videos. Um, thank you so much for um, saying that I should have a cleaner background. Unfortunately, um, I thought I could move some stuff from my wall to give a plain background, but I can't, and everywhere in my house has something. Um, the walls have pictures, and, and so I'm going to try and find a plain white sheet and put that somewhere and have that as, you know, my, my background, but, but obviously we're a family that doesn't like just plain white sheets. Um, my bed has black and white stripes, um, so I'm trying real hard on that, but thank you again for the suggestion. Um, also, he suggests that I don't do that same greeting over and over again in my videos, and I, I can understand why. The, I, I do re reveal my, my videos and they tend to get annoying with the same same introduction so he suggests why not just come out come out with your name and that's it so I'm trying to do, the, do that um, if anyone of you has any suggestions um, please let me know um, it's a problem but I'm I'm a pe not 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 the comments. I what I meant to say. I have a problem of pleasing people, and it gets me in trouble a lot of times because there is no way in H E double hockey sticks that I can please everyone. But I do try and please everyone. But give me your comments and suggestions. And I'll work with them. Like Dave Green Girl 25 suggests, I start telling stories about my life and my day. And oh, do I have a good one for you today? I told you I would tell you about uh, this one. It's another camping story, and it's kind of embarrassing and it's really hilarious. Um, I think it's it's very funny. It my family haunts me with, I mean, talks, haunts me with, with this story, um, every time that we go up camping to Brantingham, New York. Um, it's the same place, same location. I can't point it out for you at a map, so don't ask me. But anyway, I was taking a nice walk. Um, they have nice trails, and all of a sudden, I... I heard uh, someone come, something coming closer to me, and I saw it nosing off, and I thought it was another guy walking, and then all of a sudden I heard barking and growling noises behind me, and immediately I started running toward my cabin. I started running, and I could hear whatever was in back of me running to. I made it up to my cabin and all my family members were, were playing cards and they saw me out of breath and they were asking me what what the man was and out of the blue, out of my mouth came this and I'm not kidding you, a barking bear was chasing me. Now everyone started cracking up. And me being young and, and stupid and naive, um, I was pissed off. I was mad that they were yelling at me because I was running for my life. And if I was there with my, my age and my learning experience right now, I would be laughing at myself too. But anyway, my grandparents, you know, gave in and... 
and went outside and checked to see what was out there and nothing was there so either I w was imagining the whole imagining is that a word sorry for my my speech but I was imagining the the whole thing and or either whatever was following me found something else so I'm pretty sure I I had this all in my my mind what was going on so um, later that evening my stepfather wanted me to get something out of our van so I went over outside in my van and as I'm looking now granted I did not know that he was there but my stepfather came slowly from behind me and started barking and I from this day still get scared so easily I screamed bloody murder and I hit my head on the the ceiling of the van and my stepfather was cracking up so loud it was so funny I he was laughing and and it was just hilarious and and to this day, day if we go up to Brandium, um, which hasn't been for a while, think, uh, well, n not to the cabin, but close by. But every time we go to that cabin, um, I never get it down. My family never lets me down from it. So there's another embarrassing story. You can say I cried barking bear. You know the story of of crying wolf, well, crying barking bear is me. But I really thought something was was chasing me, but I don't think it was a barking bear. I there is no such thing. But anyway, that's my little story for today, and I hope you enjoyed it. And why am I doing this? Oh. I have something right here but anyway I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you enjoy more of my stories because I have a lot of them but anyway uh, please comment rate and if you haven't already subscribed um, have a great day everyone and I'll talk to you guys uh, later bye now